Welcome back to Montana. In today's video, I'm gonna be fixing the center console cover on my wife's 2009 Tahoe. So we picked this truck up in 2015. It was actually my sister's truck and this came with it. Um, and we've just kind of dealt with it since. Um, it's not too big a deal unless you're making a road trip where your elbow just kind of grinds on here. Uh, but as you can see, this leather is really kind of torn up and uh, you know just rough and doesn't look good. Uh, so I picked up on eBay a replacement cover. And unfortunately, this is sort of a smooth uh, le imitation leather vinyl. Uh, the color is not too bad. The color is pretty close. Uh, although the rusty is kind of gray, you know, if you compare it to the actual seats too. Um, but the texture is not there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just try and install this anyway. And then I'm going to shop around and see if I can find one with a better texture. Uh, if all else fails, I know an upholstery guy in town uh, who could probably try and match it uh, much closer uh, to this actual texture. But that could be a lot pricier. So I'm just going to go with this for right now and see how that goes. What I'm hoping is that there's no gluing or stapling or anything like that. And it's just screws. We've got four Phillips head up here. And then inside there's, this seems to be eight Phillips head around the edge here. And uh, please forgive the filthiness of the truck. It needs to be detailed after winter and spring is just about here. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. But I'm gonna go get a Phillips head and we'll take out these screws. And I'm hoping that the new cover will just fit in place where the old one is. So if you're gonna do this uh, with power tools, you wanna make sure it's on a low setting. Uh, I'm using my Milwaukee instead of the Makita because it's not as strong and I've got it on the lowest setting. And then you wanna find a bit that fits closely uh, to the size you have in here so you don't strip these out. Very slow. I don't envision there being any real problems with this. Put these over here in the cup holder. Yeah, this is already one of the lift out. Sorry, I can see that the fabric is stapled in there. I do have an air stapler, but again, because we're moving, everything is in there and back. So I'm going to make do with what I have for right now. Take these out. Yeah, they appear to be the same as the top. Just a tight fit in there. You push that in to get around the clip. A lot of staples up around here and then here. The good news is I have this hand stapler, uh, but the bad news is it was kind of junky uh, before I got my air stapler. Uh, but I'm gonna give this a shot. You know what? I'm gonna just take this right off the hinge and be smart. I thought the hinge was baked into it. Hinge screws are a little bigger, but you're not gonna mix them up. Oh, I see. The plastic on that one's broken. So it's a nice day and the lighting's better out here, so I'm gonna do this out here. But you definitely wanna take it out of the vehicle first. Looks like this latch is screwed in too. I don't know if I need to remove that yet. I'm just pulling on the fabric actually with the pliers and it's actually pulling the staples out pretty good. It's a pretty tight fit. Okay. The back will come on first. I mean, we'll go on last. Okay. All right, so there's a little bit of foam padding. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna take out this hinge too a bit. A little more disassembly than I expected. That's okay. There we go. All right, so this whole thing comes out. Push it out from the front. You don't wanna pry it from the top. You see, wow, lots of dirt in that foam. That's funny. So through the cracks, all this dirt is coming out and embedded in the foam. All right, so let's get these staples out of here. I've got these quarter inch JT21, and they look just slightly longer, so I think we'll be in business. I just grabbed these glasses wipes quick, they'll wipe off this grime. 
I don't think I need to go in and get a Windex and go crazy. The other one was starting to conform more to the shape of this thing. Okay, should probably staple the inside first. I think I'm going to start at the back here. Let's see if this works. Yeah, this gun stinks. Start getting the the leather through here or the vinyl through here and starting to work it just has to be positioned and pulled a little tighter i got these little ridges in here that you know an upholster would probably know how to get rid of uh, but it seems like i need to pour pull more of the fabric through from the bottom side and it's just not happening so or the top side back there so i'm keep going definitely want to go slow with this try and get the fitment right like my new cheapo safety glasses. <laughs> Gotta get rid of these silver dots. Um, I didn't really want to film this just because it's been so frustrating. Uh, it's definitely eBay quality here. But I got the fabric on. I put it in and then I put this part in next. Um, a stapling job is obviously awful. They stapled it a little bit long. And I had to fold the fabric over so they weren't too long to poke through. And then they're not quite far down enough because I had to fold the fabric over. Um, certainly eBay quality. Not really proud of it, but I think it'll work for now. I went to the junkyard. The only one I could find was in tan or the one from the trucks with the jump seat that doesn't fit this. Uh, so finding an LTC leather would be tough. So you can see on top, it's a little wrinkly. Um, I wasn't able to staple in here. Honestly, with the vinyl, I didn't want to put too much effort into it. Um, so I, I am really considering going to the upholster to take care of it. So I just have it tucked in here. I think it'll work for now. It looks better uh, than nothing. You know, do at your own risk. If you're good at upholstery this is my first time really upholstering anything and that's uh you would say it wouldn't even be as good as the first time it's back in as you can see it's not perfect with these wrinkles you know this fabric doesn't have the padding underneath it doesn't quite fit perfect and i'm no upholster but from 10 feet it's fine again i plan on going to the upholster have him redo this with the uh, actual fabric if he can get it or something that's better uh, at least a leather We'll see. I mean, obviously you can see some of the staples. Nothing I can do about that at this point. But, you know, for just general driving and for the condition of the vehicle it is in now, it's it's okay. Rationalization. So I'm editing this and I realized there's no outro. So consider this your outro. I would like to revisit this, uh, perhaps after we move with uh, my staple gun. I think I could do a little bit better job. Um, I'd also like to track down better fabric. Um, but if all else fails, like I said, uh, I'm just going to take it to the upholstery guy. Um, I'm sure he'll knock it out of the park and be able to track down the actual fabric from the truck. At least it's a little bit cleaner and it doesn't hurt the elbow on the road trips, uh, especially with summer coming up. But it's certainly not something that I'm uh, proud of. This is kind of a halfway fail video. I think A for effort, <laughs> or maybe B minus for effort. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully it'll help you out. So if it helped you, you liked it or disliked it, whatever you want. Comment below, uh, subscribe if you'd like to see some more. As always, thanks for watching. May God bless you. And until next time, uh, keep staying up for what's right.